Not only are they tackling the most mechanically intricate medieval weapon ever made, they have to stick it all together with nothing but their all-time favorite material. All right, I like this. But first, Adam puts the tape aside to work out how one works. All right, I think we have enough built now to talk about the component pieces of a trebuchet and how they work. Graphics, can you help me out? The main parts are the stand, the swing arm, and the fulcrum the swing arm pivots on. Now, the swing arm has a weight at one end and a sling at the other. And here are some important relationships. There's a relationship between the long part of the swing arm and the short part. That's 3.75 to 1. And the sling wants to be exactly the length of the long part of the swing arm. If you get all that right, apparently this thing throws farther than just about any other medieval weapon of war. The real long shot will be getting a full-size trebuchet to work with only duct tape to hold it together. So the weight here is the sole of the trebuchet. The gravitational pull of this weight down causes the whole mechanism to work. In the toughest duct tape task the team has ever tackled, that counterweight will eventually weigh 750 pounds and exert more than 3,000 foot-pounds of torque. That's a fully loaded trebuchet right there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I flung it into the ground. That's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. I love making these demonstration models. I hit the ceiling. Clearly, somewhere in the middle is my goal. It's often some of the most fun that I have on the show. I think I made too much of a cup. There is nothing better than being able to lay your hands on something, even if you're going to build it 10 times as large. It didn't let go. Why didn't it let go? What the hell? Slightly bigger nut, much bigger nut. After several hours of hands-on tinkering, Adam has the mechanics nailed. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And successfully launches his model. Wow.